Hello everyone, welcome to the VibeHub tutorial video on the Vibeverse light client. Today you guys are going to learn how to mine for minerals, use the Vibe Foundry, and how to deposit your minerals to produce Vibrium. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to head to our website, which is vibehub.io. And once you're on, your, on our website, you click on this top right, then you're going to log in or register an account. If you're a new user, you're going to have to do, in order to participate in the Viveverse, you will have to deposit Vibe on the platform in order to acquire Vibrium, to acquire things like ships and etc. So um, if you're at that stage, check the description box below and we'll have a link to our tutorial video and how you can deposit Vibe on the Vibehub platform. It's very simple. Um, it just requires a MetaMask account. So once you're on our website, you can scroll down and you can check out our um, all our auctions currently taking place for Vibe NFTs. So we do have some, you can, you'll scroll down, you can see your wallet here, all your accounts in the right hand side. Scroll down to see all your balances. You can click on manage my wallet and you'll be brought to your wallet. You can click over and see your NFTs. So what we want to do is because we need to acquire some some ships in order for us to start mining minerals to produce Vibrium, we're gonna to have to swap some Vibe for Vibrium. So you click in the top left here and you go to the VibeNet Foundry. Now, and once you're here, it's uh, very similar to how Uniswap is set up. You select, so just we'll go, um, we'll just go 25 Vibe and that will get us 30 Vibrium. You see the raid one vibe equals 1.23 vibrium. The slipperage, price impact, LP fee, and then you just press swap, confirm, and just like that. And now we have acquired. Go back to our wallet to check it out, and now we see we have received that vibrium. And because these swaps happen to take place on VibeNet, they are instant with no gas fees on the VibeNet chain. So now we want to go to the Viberse and there's two ways. And then you can scroll down, you can see all your trends, you can see all your transactions. So these are my transactions. You can see all of them just right there. And you'll see that one that just happened now with just the, the swap. So, so we'll go back, click up here, we'll go back. So you can get to the Viberse by selecting launch now or through click on the top left and we'll go to the Vibers. And once you click on the Vibers, we'll select play now. We agree to the terms and conditions and you'll select launch light version. And if you select launch full WebGL version, you'll actually be brought to a full 3D experience of the Vibers where you can fly around ships, hop over to hop between planets with your spaceship, go to colonies, Go to, go to the planet's surface to mine and collect minerals and launch your probe to collect your minerals as well. But for this for this tutorial video, if you guys want to see the tutorial video for the launch full WebGL version, um, check the description box below for that tutorial video. But for today, we will be looking at the launch the light version. Okay, and once you're brought here, you'll see all the planets in the in the Vibeverse and how many miners are on them as well as how many V-Rigs are currently in circulation. So we want to add a ship so we can start collecting minerals. So you press this plus symbol to add a ship and now we need to select a ship in order to in order to move around. So it costs 0 0.1 Vibrium per day so we'll select Falcon 1. You can select it up to 30 days which would cost you Three vibrium, it's 0.1 vibrium per day to rent a ship. So we'll select one day and then purchase rental. And once you purchase rental, now we have that ship. So you can you can have up to three ships at one time, which we recommend, but if not, you could just have one. So then we go to Vibrium and then select start mining. And then you'll be brought to here. So now we can move ships to different planets because in order to produce Vibrium, you need to collect, it takes one of each mineral 
to produce one vibrio. So the fastest way possible is to have th three ships collecting minerals at one time. So we'll go Falcon 2, we'll go one day, purchase rental, and then we want to move this ship to a planet to start mining. So we'll select the purple, and then start mining. And now you can see the progress bar of how long it takes to mine that mineral. So we'll add one more ship. One day, purchase rental, excellent. Now we'll move the ship to a planet. We'll go to, go to a red planet, we'll go to Nicoria and start mining. You can mine three, mine with three ships at one given time. And then once you have one of each mineral, then you can start producing vibrium. So we will wait and then we'll go through the process of depositing your minerals and start receiving your credit for vibrium. And then we want to deposit minerals. And also you can continue to mine as you're depositing minerals as well and then you wait for this you'll see this is your depositing loading bar so you wait for this to go to 100 so we're at 30.55 right now and we'll wait for this to load and as it's near done loading here you'll see your mineral count go down now it goes down and now you got you receive the extra vibro really simple so now you want to move one of your ships now because you have you're really low on green so you want to stop mining let's stop deposit for now you want to move back over to a green planet and start mining and build that count up on the green planet and we'll stop mining here and you want to move over to your purple because now you need more purple and start mining there as well you always want to have more, you need one of each mineral to produce vibram. So that's it. So it depends on your status within the vibers. If you are a nomad, which is a person who don't owns, because all, all these, all the planets, all the spaceships, these are all vibe NFTs. So if you're not an owner of a, of a planet or a spaceship, you are a nomad in the vibers and then you receive 25% of the Vibram you mine and the other 75% gets distributed to either the planet owners or, or spaceship owners who have V-Rigs put on their planets. The only citizens of the Vibers who can own, see here, V-Rigs to produce Vibram are Vibe NFT owners. And if you are a Vibe NFT owner, you can add a V-Rig by selecting here, add V-Rig. You wanna make sure you're adding a V-Rig if you are a planet owner to your planet that you do happen to own. Or if you're a spaceship owner, you can select whichever planet you feel like um, adding a V-Rig to. And if you are a planet owner, you receive 100% of the Vibram you mine by adding a V-Rig to the planet. And if you are a spaceship owner, you receive an extra 25% of the Vibram you mine by adding a V-Rig and mining on that planet. So you press add V-Rig, you can select how many V-Rigs, so you can have up to five V-Rigs on each different planet, and here you can select the rental period, so one day, two day, up to 30 days. And it costs two Vibram per V-Rig to mine. So for five V-Rigs at one day is 10 Vibrium, for five V-Rigs at 30 days is 300 Vibrium, and for one V-Rig for one day is two Vibrium. So we want to put one, so for one rig, one day, two Vibrium, and then you select purchase V-Rig if you are a Vibe NFT owner, and then you will start receiving extra Vibrium. So for someone, so if you have a, a V-Rig on a planet and then a Nomad is producing there, you receive also a percentage of the, of the Vibrium that they would produce as well by, being a, by having a V-Rig on that planet. And important to note that 
any vibrium that gets used to acquire V-rigs is burnt. So f for a general overview of some of the things we, we just went over, you click in the top right here to click see all the mining stats going on. Scroll down, and you'll see all your ships are still there, where they come in there out. Dirt mining, deposit minerals, go back. We'll go to the, the, the foundry. Same thing again, just put in 10 vibe, you get 12 point. Three Vibrium, you see everything like that, really simple. Instant transactions, no gas fees on the Vibrant Foundry. Top left, you see everything in there. You can go to the Vibnet Explorer. This is the total, this is for the whole, for all of Vibnet. You can see all transactions, voting transactions, gaming transactions. Everything like that, scroll down, you can see them all right here. All transactions that happen on Vibnet. In the top right, you can see all your balances here on the right-hand side. You can also do a VibeNet transfer where if you have a friend who happens to be on the platform or anything like that, you can transfer over Vibe, Ethereum, etc. right over to them instantly with no gas fees and you enter the username down here. So really simple. Close out of that. You can click on, you can go, we'll go uh, back to your wallet again. Scroll down, you'll see you see your transactions. So that's the credit of Vibram you see, because you get 25% of the transaction if you are a nomad and don't own any NFTs. So if you're a planet owner and you own own your own V rig, then you get 100% of the Vibram you mine. If you're a spaceship owner but don't own your own planet, and acquire your own V-Rigs, then you get 50% of the Vibram you mine. So just for a Nomad, you get 25% of the Vibram you mine, and the other 75% gets distributed to the um, planet owners and V-Rig owners. So really clean. You see down here in your transactions, that's your swap right there, and everything. So really cool. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for this tutorial video. If you guys have any comments or questions, check the description box below on how to join our Telegram group. If you guys have any comments or questions or anything like that. So yeah, we'll be seeing you all again soon and stay tuned for updates.